Um, we're back. I got another engine. Uh, this is going to be a quick video of a Atherin Genesis uh, GP9. Um, just came out with Tsunami 2. This is the XUP scheme in Iowa Interstate, number 306, uh, GP9. I do have a ready to roll GP9, and it is also. 306, but I got a uh, Iowa Interstate. Um, I got this unit, uh, $15. It's DCC, ready to roll, old blue box. It is DCC. This, but someone told me that 306 isn't in the scheme. This is supposed to be 309, and so I decided, oh, Iowa Interstate's coming out with the this scheme so I just ordered this because this isn't the right scheme but I got I will patch this to 309 so set that over there uh, this engine is a ready to roll it is a not heavy uh, this is what it is this is what we're talking about um, today I try to make it quick I get a lot of things going on in my life right now I'm just gonna set the camera right here real quick guys I guess you could enjoy the old Wathers <laughs> Got an Iowa Interstate coil car uh, by Walther. Someone gave it to me on Facebook. Good buddy of mine. Appreciate it. Um, so I'll take the box out and take the this out. And here is the GP9. Uh, I thought it was a GP7, but it is. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. This is kind of new. This delicate model takes it on the table, kind of take care. So basically. Uh, I have to hold it like that. It's just saying, please, this is a, this is a fragile model. This is an employee, so i never seen that. That was pretty interesting. Uh, real quick, guys, I'm just going to move this right here. Right now. Real quick. This bad boy out out of here real quick. And set that over there. Our last Atherin Genesis Iowa Interstate locomotive was a GP38-2. This is a Jeep. Uh, really nice. It's got tsunami too. I'm um, just gonna set it. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to get this out, but this is kind of hard to do with one hand. Set that out. Here's the Jeep. It's just, it's just simple as a any other Genesis. Just typical Genesis packaging, and of course this. But we'll get to that later. I know. Every time I get another product, my layout gets even messier and messier and messier. But here is the locomotive. Uh, real quick, this bad boy out without. It's kind of fragile here. Okay, set this locomotive on the track. Real quick. I want to uh, get that off. Okay. I wanted to shut it off real quick so I could show you detailed without having the engine fire up on me. I uh, get this hand. It is hard to get it off by one hand. I'm trying to do my best, guys. Uh, okay, and then the hand protector. Pretty simple. Nothing to be concerned about. Okay, guys. Uh, we are looking today at the Atherin Genesis uh, GP9, uh, level 306, in Iowa Interstate in the next scheme. So basically, Iowa Interstate got. A bunch of locomotives when they started in 1984 and in 85 86 and the 90s happened this was before i once got the es44 aces up sold a lot of their gp9s or a few of their gp9s and this was a up gp9 this is basically a unit pacific but it, it's got the unit pacific logo and everything just everything paint scheme but you can see right there it says iowa interstate so basically it is the a lot of Iowa interstates had a lot of, they had the GP10s, GP7s, GP, they had a lot of GP7s and, well, GP9s. I think they had a few 7s, not sure on that, but a lot of them weren't in the Iowa state scheme. They got a lot of pool power when they were introduced. When Iowa state was introduced, they leased a lot of powers. And I think a lot of people don't know this, before Iowa state started, between 1981 and 84, when the Rock Island died, and 83 they used to call it the Iowa railway and basically the scheme was basically right here this cream color not this color the lighter color so it was basically that so it was just Iowa railway 
and now it's just Iowa Interstate. So then 84, they officially called it Iowa Interstate. And that kind of came up with uh, other than that, pretty good locomotive, uh, up to top and stuff like that. You can see the details on top, the radiator fans and stuff like that, and the dynamic braking fan, uh, exhaust tips for the prime river, and a, another exhaust fan. I believe this is for dynamic braking fans. Same with this, I think. Uh, and this is the, uh, radiator fans for the engine, I think. Uh, these were for a cover in case the engine got too cold, the this would keep the engine from getting cooled so it'd keep it actually warmer in the winter and uh, i think i think these are what it called when the railroads worked in very cold climates cold weather during the winter which is fall of <laughs> no fall of 2018 right now so here's the front of the locomotive and stuff like that uh handrails are pretty sturdy not not gonna pop off or anything that's pretty typical with Athrum Genesis, uh, cab detail, uh, you can see a little bit, this is a high hood nose, so basically the people had to look, the crews had to look on the outside of the edge of the locomotive, which I think a lot of crews, I can understand, hated these locomotives, because they couldn't see out very well, and a lot of these locomotives were more on short lines and stuff like that, here's the other side of the locomotive, uh, very nice indeed, uh, there's your horn again, I'm gonna stay here, <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, your uh, ha uh, ladder, uh, climb ladders right there, uh, grab hunt, um, separate applied grab irons. I noticed this locomotive does not have a snow plow. I don't know if these locomotives had snow plows. Actually, in the older days, they used the uh, plow, a big plow in front of the locomotive. They pushed them and it pushed the train off the snow, the snow. And I think that's why a lot of the GP9s and 7s had no snow plow because they had the plows that they push the spreaders they come out apart and stuff Iowa Interstate does have one sitting in Atlantic uh, for a while they repainted it it wasn't in Atlantic right now but it, they, they did repainted it it is coming back I don't know where it is Iowa Interstate evidently wants to use it so uh, there was a plower in Atlantic Iowa that was sitting on the siding some of the Iowa State rail, rail fans from the west western US uh, Iowa you probably know what I'm talking about uh, not sure what that is on the locomotive I don't know what that is. Uh, this is 306. Uh, separate Clyde grab irons and stuff like that. There's your couplers. Does not come with um, uh, Katie's. Uh, it's standard with the Atherin. Uh, it looks pretty detailed. Uh, really nice. I really like this thing where they did the um, the the um, fading. So this is lighter and this is darker. I really like that. That's actually pretty nice with the locomotive you had here. Uh, beautiful locomotive indeed. Uh, here's the top, here's the antenna and stuff like that, and then here's the inner body of the locomotive. Uh, pretty nice and stiff. Uh, like I said, this is the Tsunami 2 locomotive. Uh, weight isn't really that great. Um, it is pretty light, so if you guys are excited for the Tsunami 2, that's cool. But this locomotive is not meant for pulling. Uh, just saying, guys, uh, those, those, these Atherin Genesis GPs, I mean, for example, I'll just show you my... Atherin Genesis Iowa Interstate GP38-2. This is my Iowa Interstate Atherin Genesis. My other, this is my other Atherin Genesis. Some of you guys know. This engine is pretty heavier. This is a lot heavier. It doesn't. It feels heavier. Probably guys are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, this feels about the same. Not really heavy. Um, eventually guys, I will clean my layout. I am sorry guys, excuse me. I've been busy with work. I work full time and I'm trying to get my layout looking nice. But like I know for now, I do have DCC and stuff like that. Some of you guys are probably like, enough talk. Let's listen to the sounds. So let's do that right now. So there's your start sequence. Let's do the headlight. There's your headlight. Here's the bell. And the horn. Short horn. Dynamic braking. Five is your 
five is something. I hit five. Oh, F eight and F eight uh, mute. Uh, five is does nothing. Uh, this locomotive does not have s stuff. So, and here's the back of the locomotive. So. Well, there's your GP9 Anthem Genesis. This is Tsunami 2. Honestly, it does not sound like a Tsunami 2. It sounds like the Tsunami 1. It does not sound like Tsunami 2. Um, sounds, I mean, it's Tsunami 2, but it doesn't sound like Tsunami 2 for me. Maybe that's just the horn or something. Well, there you go, guys. There's your Atherin Genesis GP9. Here's the box. The box of it. Atherin Genesis GP9. In the XUP Iowa Interstate Scheme.